Hello guys, my name is Grace and welcome to Well Nourished Podcast. Uh, on this uh, episode, we are going to be discussing about male fertility. And I uh, just want uh, to say that fertility is not only a female issue. It involves both a man and a woman for them to produce a viable offspring. So most of the time, the society focuses on uh, women and burdens the women with the responsibility of being fertile where else it's supposed to be two-way process the man and the woman should be both be questioned or be they are involved and they have the highest responsibility in producing a viable offspring so to, today we are going to be talking about some of the things that can impede male infer- uh, fertility and what men can do or what they can eat so that they can improve their sperm quality oh, so let's start off we have a guest uh, we'll just have a conversation and I will be glad to answer some of the um, questions that he will be having for me. So welcome on board, subscribe and like uh, this video. So thank you for hosting, me, ho- for hosting me in your channel. And I have one question. If I am a youth, assuming I'm not married, I don't have a baby, how can I, should I be concerned about my fertility? How should I tell as a man that I am fertile or not? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Of course, most people usually confirm by them uh, getting a girl pregnant and the girl uh, getting the child. Uh, But uh, definitely there's a clinical way of doing it if uh, you really want to get sure. And when you're getting into marriage and something like that, it's good to have your, there's something called sperm analysis whereby you are checked about uh, your your sperm motility, sperm morphology, like the, you'll be explained everything uh, to make sure that you are really fertile as well as to the lady and then you can be given the go ahead. So thank you. So men, please tell us what should we do to maintain our fertility levels because I think, uh, yeah, we don't think it is a problem. Is it really a problem that men could be as infertile as women or what what is the percentage of infertility between men and women um surprisingly there is a, the percentage is quite high for men that are equally as uh, infertile mm-hmm. compared to the women but most men don't come out so you might be there as a man and you don't know what is my responsibility in all this you know we, when women are trying to conceive there's something that is known as uh, prenatal vitamins they are being told to take these vitamins, minerals, this kind of food so that they can optimize their fertility, which is good. But the same kind of care should also be given to our men. When uh, a woman wants to get pregnant, they should go with their partner to their healthcare provider, a nutritionist, a nurse, a doctor, so that they can be given proper information. And uh, mostly, if the lady is getting on a, new, on a healthy diet or a nutrient-dense diet, the same same applies to the man you'll be surprised even some mm. of the nutrients are equally the same that can boost fertility for men and those that can boost boost fertility for women mm. so it is good for both of you to be involved so if you see your woman is getting into a nutrient dense kind of eating even you as a man you should get into a nutrient dense kind of eating if it is reduction of stress levels which have been associated with um, infertility for both genders you also need to make sure that you are ch- putting in place stress management strategies uh whether it's your work that is giving you a lot of stress because men carry a lot of stress in them and you never see it and that's why there's high cases of depression suicide cases among men because they harbor a lot of stress but they don't show it to the world and uh, also it impacts on their their fertility Mm. and uh, of course with age age is also another factor because the younger men like in their 20s in their um, that is uh, up to 35 that's when their fertility peaks and then it goes on a downward spiral from there henceforth which also applies to the women so it's something that you need to be conscious about mm. uh, that fertility can decrease with age uh, likewise to the to the women and um, but of course nutrition and lifestyle how we lead our, our life can uh, affect our fertility in one way or another so you need to be eating as healthy mm. you need to be working out reducing stress so that you can optimize your fertility so i will ask you one crazy question and i hope you will not fear to ask to answer 
<laughs> um, in men, within men, we say that we should not wear underwears because it can cause infertility. Do you think there is a sense of truth in that, in that or is it just a superstition? Well, okay, not completely to go underwearless. But yeah, there's, a, there's some truth in that statement because definitely when you look at the um, morphology of a man, uh, definitely the, you know, the reproductive organs are outside, eh? so they need to be kept cool eh? so that uh, the sperms don't um, get damaged because high temperatures, definitely, you've been told this from primary school, secondary school mm. up to now. Temperatures can also uh, um, influence the health of your sperm. So you need to make sure that uh, definitely you wear things that are not very tight. You know, even putting uh, things like this handset on your um, fuko that is near that place, it can also affect because you know these things can heat up and then they can mm. cause a lot of heat. Or putting your laptop uh, under, uh, on top of your, um, you know, groin can also affect. So you need to be aware mm. of this, the temperature changes. So if you can go underwearless, then, but uh, for the sake of uh, being, you know, decent, decent yes. yeah, just check something that is not very tight, something that is preserving your mm. fertility and uh, your decency mm -hmm. at the end of it all. All right. So thank you very much. Badu. What advice would you, would you give to a man who is not completely aware of, you know, um, infertility? as an issue within men so i would recommend that uh, just be receptive to to uh, the probability of the issue coming from your side not only from the woman's side so you need to be open and uh, have it in your mindset that it is not wrong there's nothing you have done wrong for you to go to the doctor and tell you that you have some this issue maybe we can work on this and this mm. you know even it's like as women you know the society has like um, accepted or made this uh, acceptable for women to have infertility issues mm. so women go through it much better but if a man is told that akonashida first of all she, he or, he will not accept he will try and get another girl and try if uh, to just confirm mm. which is not the right way that is now causing more damage so you need to be more receptive to the fact that it can be either her or it can be you and then you will be supportive of the strategies that you will be talked about mm. but i um, i think i have really i've talked about the diet but if, if i can just get deeper into what kind of diet because I know there are couples that are trying to get pregnant and they are not able to know what kind of foods, especially the man, what should he focus more on. So number one thing you need to make sure that you are eating a healthy diet in every of your meals so that you supply your body with the needs, with the nutrients that is required, that is required for reproduction and for every other bodily function. So you can concentrate on, uh, there's a nutrient called lycopene uh, that is, uh, for, is, uh, has been shown to improve fertility in men. Mm. So lycopene is a particana in uh, things like um, tomatoes. It can also be found in, um, you know, seafood. Uh, it can also be found in, in some fruits like watermelon, watermelon actually. So taking watermelon mm. every now and then, uh, tomatoes or kachumbari you see it has that lycopene mm. so that is one nutrient and then there's zinc zinc is also a very fundamental nutrient for mm -hmm. fertility for both men and women and especially men uh, so zinc uh, you can either get it from pumpkin seeds I see it uh, men nowadays love these seeds very much because they have discovered that they, it can help them with fertility mm. and not only with fertility but with uh, men vitality you know mm. and sex power and all that so pumpkin seed is one of them also being fond of eating uh, seafood like uh, oysters though very expensive mm. they are very uh, they have those uh, nutrient very mm. much and if not you can also be on a zinc supplement mm. uh, with the guidance of your nutritionist or your, um, or your doctor mm. so that um, you can improve your fertility and then there is also omega-3s or taking fish salmon you know these things really boost your uh, fertility. Taking fruits 
it's also very important hydrating yourself unajua men who are they don't take me, they don't take water mm. and it also has been shown on improving even sperm fluid and all that so we need to hydrate every time you make sure that you are not just waiting for you to get thirsty mm. so that you can uh, hydrate yourself so be on the habit of drinking the 2 liters plus uh, of water each and every day and of course vegetables men are also not very good eaters of vegetables like women but it, they also help help a lot then there is also legumes like lentils minji peas uh, cow peas and all that they also uh, help with fertility mm. so definitely i've mentioned a lot of food so the more varieties of food that you are eating in your diet mm. the, the better for you you know mm. before now you can start talking of uh, taking uh, supplements mm. Mm. and of course there are supplements for male fertility and for female fertility mm. and you can only get um, personalized advice from your nutritionist or from your uh, health care provider i hope i've answered yeah thank you so before we wrap up yes please comment about jugu jugu karanga why do men love jugu so much <laughs> Oh yeah, actually people, surprisingly people think that jugu or what is known as uh, peanuts will give them men vitality, but uh, it's not only in jugu, there are so many other wonderful nuts. Eh? Guys, have you heard of pine nuts? Have you heard of um, uh, walnuts? Have you heard of uh, almonds? You know, it is not only peanuts that can give uh, men um, that men power or something like that. Though peanuts are quite available locally and all mm. that, they can help. But I think it's more of a, what can I say? It's more of a local or a street thing. But uh, it has no science backing, at least to my knowledge. But taking of nuts and seeds, like I've said, not only pumpkin seed, there's also sunflower seeds. There's flax seeds, there's chia seeds. So taking a good number of seeds and nuts can improve uh, male power or mm. vitality in men. Yeah. So thank you so much for hosting me and I look forward to being your guest again. Thank you so much. And if you have a question about men fertility and what you can do as a man to improve your fertility and sperm quality, kindly reach out to us or comment below and then we'll be gladly we'll be glad to answer you back and then thank you so much our guest for coming by on mm. this channel kindly subscribe guys and like and comment on this video bye